Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dal. And the patch 925 is finally here. And this new update brings with it a surprising amount of character customizations, like the Dark Ranger appearance and the Dark Ranger outfit for some of our LFU races. But this update has also added a brand new heritage quest for Blood Elves, together with an exclusive Blood Knight Paladin set. The Dark Iron Dwarves also got a brand new questline, together with the new Transmog Weapon appearance rewards, as well as the new Grim Howl mount. And in this video, we are going to go over how to get every one of these appearances and rewards for the brand new patch of 925. But right before we get into these updates, most of you guys watching these videos are still not subscribed. However, the more of you remind, the more of you do. So let's keep it going. Subscribe to the channel as well as the bell if you're watching these videos anyway, especially if you want to catch regular patch 925 updates and changes, as well as potentially more future Dragonflight announcements. First, let's start with the Dark Ranger customization. To unlock the Dark Ranger appearance, you first want to head over to Oribos, and in the Enclave, you'll see a new quest appear on your map. There, you'll meet Kalia Menethil and start the retaking of the Lordaeron questline. Next to Kalia, you can talk to a Forsaken Dreadmage to port you straight to Tur's Fall Glades. Grab your next set of quests in Brill. From there, you'll get a little bit of combat and a lot of story and exposition. And after collecting a sample of the plague with Kalia, you'll be sent back into Shadowlands to meet up with some old friends. First, we travel to Margrave Sindane. Before you leave, you're free to stick around and listen to Margrave Sindane and Kalia discussing the nature of necromancy. Next, we head over to Plaguefall, slaying enemies until we fill out a quest bar. Turn in the quest in the area, fight a slime mini boss, and then the next quest will take you back to Churzfall Glades. Once you get back to Churzfall, we mount a plague bat and fly over Lord Run, dropping down slime boys to eat up the plague and cleaning up crates until we fill out the quest. Finish the cleanup, then fight Almalgam, the Blight of Lord Run. If you play a hunter, be sure to turn in Path of the Dark Rangers before you finish the quest line. This quest is required in order to unlock a hunter only unique appearance set. And at the end of the quest line, you're treated to a very detailed in game cinematic. This quest line unlocks the Return to Lordaeron achievement, which comes with a brand new title of Lordaeron as well as the Dark Ranger elf customization. If you're trying to get out of Church's Fall quickly, next to the Silvermoon portal, there's now brand new portals to Stranglethorn, Orgrimmar, as well as Howling Fjord, a very nice form of traveling convenience that's also very easy to miss. And at the end of the questline, you now have the ability to create your very own Dark Rangers. To select the Dark Ranger preset, either select the Dark Ranger skin tone or the new Dark Ranger red eyes. The eye variant and the skin preset are a combo, you can't have one without the other, which may limit your options in terms of variants and customization, but it does give you access to look like the deadly Dark Ranger. The rest of the options like hair, ears, markings and accessories can all be customized individually, you're just stuck with that skin eye combination. The Dark Ranger appearance is available to Night Elves, Void Elves as well as Blood Elves. This gives the faction of the Alliance an obvious advantage when it comes to customizations. Getting more Dark Ranger variants between Void Elves and the Night Elves, with Horde only really getting access to the Blood Elf option. Besides creating a new character, you can also convert your existing Elf characters into the Dark Ranger appearance from the Barbershop by selecting the Dark Ranger Red Eyes or the Dark Ranger Skin Tone appearance. It's also worth mentioning that this appearance is available to most classes, giving players various customization options, opting to look like a deadly assassin rogue stalking through shadows looking for their prey, or a risen undead paladin, which may be the closest thing we'll ever get to a forsaken paladin variant. It's a brand new way for players to customize their elfy character, unless you play Death Knights or Demon Hunters. It looks like as of right now, neither Death Knights or Demon Hunters get the access to the Dark Ranger customization appearances. Besides the Dark Ranger eyes and skin, you can also get the Dark Ranger attire transmog. Once you completed the Lordaeron questline, head to Trueshot Lodge, the Hunter Order Hall from the expansion of Legion. 
inside of True Shot Lodge, head over to the Outfitter Reynold to purchase the Dark Ranger Transmog outfit for a thousand gold. The Dark Ranger's attire is a transmog set unique to the class of Hunter and only Hunters can use it. However, you don't have to be a Dark Ranger Void Elf, Night Elf or Blood Elf to use this appearance. Any Hunter class of any race is free to use the Dark Ranger set. Then we have the Blood Elf questline. To begin the Blood Elf Heritage quest, you first need a character level 60 and be exalted with the Silvermoon City faction. There's a lot of ways of grinding out the reputation, but the fastest method that has been recommended to me is to put on the Silvermoon Tabard and spam run Botanica, the TBC dungeon on normal until you reach exalted. Technically, any dungeon can work, but Botanica is the most recommended dungeon that I've seen so far. The Blood of Questline is fairly straightforward. You start in Orbos and you head to Silvermoon. From Silvermoon, you get ported to Ghostlands, fight a couple undeads and then head back into Shadowlands and then shortly after, back into Ghostlands to finish out the quest chain. If you finish the questline as a Paladin, you'll also gain a bonus for a Paladin-only Blood Knight set. Besides the Blood of Paladin exclusive items, you also get a new pole arm appearance as well as an elusive Hawkstrider mount. Then we have new appearances for the Dark Iron Dwarfs. To begin this questline, you need to have a Dark Iron Dwarf of at least level 50 who has previously earned their heritage armor set. To begin the questline, you first need to head back to the Shadowforge City, the Dark Iron Dwarf starting zone. Use the Mole Machine to Shadowforge City near the Stormwind Embassy. And talk to the Anvil Thane to begin the story questline. The Dark Iron questline is rather short. It's self-contained within the Shadowforge City with a little bit of fighting and a lot of running. But at the end of the questline you get a set of armaments, a brand new shield, a one-handed axe, as well as a new two-handed weapon appearance. You also get a brand new Grim Howl mount, a mount exclusive to the faction of the Alliance. And that's going to be all of the new appearances, transmogs and rewards available with the patch 925 finally hitting the live servers. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Were you surprised by the reveal of the Dark Ranger customization options? What are your thoughts on the new Blood Elf and Dark Iron Heritage Armor appearances and which race do you think should be next to get some of their own Heritage Armor questlines? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As per usual, if you guys enjoyed this video or found it informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate it. And as always, in the description of every single live stream and video, we have a link to our Discord community channel. Probably the best place to reach out to me directly in case you want to let me know what you thought about this video or discuss with the other members of the community what you think about the upcoming changes. Join our Discord to become part of the community. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts and as always, I'll see all of you guys in another video.